Good morning, farmer friends. I am Michael Kinder, working as subject matter specialist in plant protection at KVK Kohima, Nagaland. Today, I am going to speak on the management of rice stem borer of paddy. Around 220 bays are found to infest paddy in the field and in storage. Insect based infestations are reducing rice yield by 20% or more in our country. Major insect pests of paddy include stem borers, leaf folders, brown plant hoppers, case worms, gandhi bugs, hispa, gold midge, etc. Amongst these pests, stem borers are considered as one of the most destructive pests as their management is very difficult once they bore into the stem. The nature of damage The female moth lays eggs in masses near the leaf tips on the lower surface of the leaves. Each egg mass contains about 20 to 25 eggs and the incubation period ranges from 6 to 8 days. The newly emerged larvae enters through the leaf sheet and from there they bore into the stem of the belly near the nodal region and attains full growth in 30 to 40 days. Larval feeding on stem causes dead hearts in younger plants and white ears in the crop panicle stage. Management practices Plowing, removal and destruction of previous crop stubbles exposes the overwintering larvae or pipi to their natural enemies. Clipping of leaf tips of the seedlings before transplanting is a good practice for checking multiplication of stem borers. If 5% or more dead hearts are observed, apply furidum 3G granules at the rate of 30 to 35 kg per hectare. The first application is done at 20 to 25 days after transplanting and again at 50 to 60 days after transplanting. Another effective method is spraying of monocotopos 30 EC at the rate of 2 ml per liter of water. On an average, 500 to 700 liters of spray solution is required for 1 hectare area. Sitting root deep treatment in chlorpyrifos 20 EC at the rate of 10 ml per 10 liters of water and keeping it overnight control stem borers and many other pests associated with baby. Release of trichogramma et parasitoids at the rate of 50,000 per hectare at 30 days after transplanting gives good controls of stem borers. Besides these control measures, light traps and pheromone traps should be installed to check the adult mode multiplication. Thank you for watching my video patiently. And for more information, please contact Office of the Program Coordinator, Devi Kohima, Nagaland.